What's up fellow Clashers, my name is Salamon and in today's video I am going to remind you about features in Clash of Clans that existed in the game but were fixed or changed and now are forgotten. Before we jump to the forgotten facts about Clash, just a quick reminder guys, please make sure to subscribe my channel, leave a comment and hit that like button. I really appreciate your support, thanks a lot. First thing that I want to mention is cancellation of healing by Inferno Towers. Before December 2017, the beams of Inferno Towers were stopping all incoming healing to the troops that they are targeting. Because of that, no healing either from spell or from healers were not working until Inferna is active. And almost all Inferna towers were always set to the multi-mode to maximize this healing cancellation. And of course, off-healing based strategies were much more difficult than now. For example, Hogs, Miners, Queen Charge and so on. On the example, you see that uh, the queen actually is uh, stepping into the inferno radius and inferno beams and stop getting healed until the, the inferno tower goes down. And uh, that also uh, was happening to the hog riders when you use the heal spell and so on and so on. And after the update, uh, even when uh, the inferno tower is working, you are getting uh, healed by the healers or heal spell and this made game much more easier. The next thing that I think most of us have forgotten is the absence of friendly wars. Now if you open a clan and uh, this clan has this option on, you can hit the challenge button and uh, if uh, the clan is uh, possible for the friendly challenge, you send them invitation and then the friendly challenge is happening. In the previous days there were only regular wars and in case you wanted to face some particular clan, for example for some kind of tournament, you had to contact uh, the clan, make sure that they have the same town hall composition and the number of players and you start uh, or spin the regular war in both clans at the same time. And after that you just have to hope that you will fall uh, on each other and no other clan has launched uh, a war at the same time with the same army composition. And actually there were lots of cases when uh, there have to be a war uh, for example in the tournament bracket and two clans are starting uh, at the same time a war but uh, occasionally some third clan is spinning a war at the same time and they don't face each other this way you have to wait until the regular war ends and you have to start a new one besides that there was no option to uh, reduce the preparation time the war time so each war was two days uh, as a regular war and there was uh, no any chance to make this war shorter. Next small change that now became regular thing in Clash of Clans but didn't exist before April 2018 is flags and notes on clan war map. Uh, now you see that uh, actually I can flag any uh, base that I want to attack two flags for two attacks uh, but before uh, this uh, thing was added into the game, there were lots of ways to resolve an opponent in clan war for yourself to hit. Some clans were writing down targets in the clan description, uh, others were using specific websites or even social media, and uh, as you understand, this was pretty complex. Uh, I mean, uh, it was really a uh, nightmare because uh, you are preparing an army for an attack, you go offline and when you come back you see that your target was hit by another player because there was no uh, way to uh, inform your teammates that you are preparing to hit uh, for example 17 number or 16 or uh, any other else because uh, you can write in the clan chart but uh, clan chart goes away and uh, so on and so on and this was as I said pretty complex and this small change made uh, the clan wars much more efficient and uh, much more comfortable. The next uh, small thing that was also added into the game and made life easier uh, is uh, the sleep mode of clan castle troops. And even with me, uh, there were such cases when uh, you are preparing an army to attack in clan war and uh, you requested the clan castle troops, but uh, as the army is uh, preparing pretty long, you go offline and you uh, get raided. And then when you log in, you see that the army is prepared and you go into attack, but you suddenly discover that you are out of CC troops because during the raid, uh, your CC troops were killed. 
and this simple button with guard or sleep made life much more easier because actually uh, your uh, CC troops doesn't really affect the result of your raid and uh, at that time there were no legend league and uh, that means that uh, all farming was for uh, for resources and uh, your uh, clan castle troops didn't protect much resources but they were uh, really needed for your attack and then you have to request again and sometimes there is a timer for request and because of the raid you have to wait this timer to request again and this makes life not very easy and as i said this simple button made life much easier Next thing that was common in old times is town hall sniping. This is the effect when people in high leagues and not only in high leagues put the town hall in the corner of the map on their base so that uh, it could be easily destroyed. This was done so that when you were attacked the attacker simply took down the town hall, took a few trophies from you and gave you a shield without taking resources and stars. That means that you get a shield pretty easily, uh, you go offline waiting for attack, you got attacked and you got a big shield but you lose uh, not too much trophies and not too much resources. After one of the updates this mechanic was changed and if the attacker spends less than 50% of the army then the shield is not given. In addition the town hall has become a storage and when it is destroyed part of the resources are also taken away from you. And um, at that moment um, when the update was launched uh, all the corner bases were um, like were cancelled no no people are using uh, such bases but before that uh, it was uh, very easy to upgrade to titan league and even further uh, just by sniping the town halls you just uh, search for such bases take down the town hall and uh, start searching for the next one but these searching were taking lots of time and you had to invest a lot of time just to um, push the trophies and in that times there were uh, town hall sevens in titans uh, the seven the savage seven clan were only f uh, from town hall seven players and all of them were were in titan league just by sniping the town halls the next topic is engineered bases this topic at that time greatly influenced clan wars upgrading accounts and the game itself the idea was that first of all each player could upgrade to the next level of the town hall without building all the buildings at the current level all the defenses all the camps all the build all the barracks and so on and so on thus the player could upgrade for example town hall 12 with uh, with only one cannon and uh, there were lots of such engineered accounts by the way and i was even making one for myself and the reason why people were doing that is that uh, war balance was uh, based pretty much on defenses so if you have only upgraded offense without defenses then in clan war your base is counted as a town hall 7 or 8 but your army and heroes are on top level that means that you can easily kill top bases of opponents in a clan war also when you have lots of engineered bases you could find opponent in clan war with much lower town halls than you have because of balancing this way engineered clans were making insane win streaks without losing at all there were even instructions on how correctly do engineered accounts and until this was fixed almost all wars were just contests who has better engineered bases uh, thanks god this uh, period ended and uh, we came back to regular wars but that period was pretty long and as i said there were lots of engineered accounts in all the clans the last thing that we are going to mention is a third party programs to begin with i must say that at the very beginning of clan wars on the day of preparation it was possible to see a real enemy war base on the map and not a farm base as it is now actually this is maybe the eighth thing that was uh, forgotten but anyway i have added it into this point there were also third party programs that allowed you to make trial attacks on the enemy base player made an attack uh, in the program on a real base but in the game itself this attack was not counted so you could uh, make uh, numerous attacks on the same base uh, just to find the best way to attack the base actually uh, now the challenges are working in the same mechanics but imagine that uh, you could do the same uh, way as the challenges but for the real enemy base in the clan war thus those who use these programs could train an attack and then easily triple the base in the game itself of course all such programs are restricted and those who use them got banned 
after a series of updates, as far as I know, the developers were able to make um, such changes to the game that made it impossible to use such third-party programs. Uh, by the way, there were even tournaments uh, for clans that are using third-party programs. I don't remember exactly uh, the name of uh, the uh of the tournament i think it's uh, twc top war clans um, maybe i'm wrong and uh, also there were top clans in the dark for example i think uh, some people heard about uh, these clans uh, and uh, actually those clans were pretty insane but um, i need to say that um, imagine that you have to try lots of times um, the attack on a base and you cannot find uh, uh, a right way for example, the difficult challenge that was created by Yuda, and you understand that you are spending lots of time just to find the solution, and then you are going to the real attack and you make a fail, and uh, that uh, feels, I think that feels bad, but anyway, uh, the usage of uh, some kind of third-party programs are uh, always bad and uh, this ruins uh, the game itself, and um, I'm very glad that now as, I, as far as I know, actually, now all the third-party programs are not working at all because of the changes made by the uh, creators. And uh, anyway, the fair play is always the best way of playing the game. So uh, these were seven forgotten things in Clash of Clans that existed in the game in the past and now many players don't even remember that. I have been making videos about Clash of Clans since 2015 and all these features I have filled and I have... Uh, uh, checked by myself, except the third-party programming. I didn't use it and I uh, didn't even know what the names of these uh, programs, but I heard and I knew that they existed. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please subscribe and I see you in the next video. It was Salomon. Bye.